Hola, ¿qué tal? Bienvenidos de vuelta a este famoso Final Fantasy XIV en Walker. Así tuvimos una plática amena con los pequeños Leporitz. Y bueno, la idea es creo que regresar a Borussia para empezar a ver para hacer el foro. Entonces, vamos a ver qué sigue el estudio. Alcancé a huir.
<risa> no, se quedan en la luna. Tum, 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 tum. Lo del dedo. ser que se no tenía box ya les van a decir antes
thank you all for gathering here on such short note. This day we must speak of grave affairs and their implications for the future of Charlion. Nay, of this very star. Said affairs concern all citizens. And so we have called for a public assembly. You may have heard rumors of the Talophoroi and the havoc these madmen wreak abroad. Under normal circumstances, we would pay little heed to petty disturbances outside our borders. The final days, however, are another matter altogether. For we dare not ignore these prophetic words of Eld. The end bearers will come, ushering chaos and calamity. The final days descend and devour the very star. Entonces, ¿sí es cierto? I've never heard this prophecy. Is it true? Will all that really happen? Calm yourselves. The time has come to speak of the Forum's most sacred duties. But first... Unanimous decree, I ah, declare the enchantment broken. Master Leveilleur, if you would. Very well. Two hundred and seventy years ago, our forebears began an expedition in the Dravonian hinterlands in search of a route to access the Ethereal Sea. This much is public knowledge. Their findings, however, would become the Forum's most closely guarded secret. What those researchers discovered in the hinterlands was not a passage unto the ethereal sea, but the very heart of our star, and Hydalin herself. In Nidalshire? She spoke to them of a calamity that would extinguish all life and of a means by which we might be spared. The moon. Tis in truth, a gargantuan vessel built to serve as sanctuary for her children and deliver them from this doom. Much this like Nyungkref's hope in ages past, it will bear the people of a world in the throes of death to a new home. Needless to say, this will be no small undertaking. To facilitate the great work, the Forum has maintained close contact with the servants of Hydaelyn, who presently reside. Wow. Convinced that the foretold end was all but inevitable, we began amassing a wealth of knowledge, not merely for the betterment of our nation, but in preparation for the journey to come. <laughs> Ay, tiene este boje. You reveal this to us now? By the gods, how long do we have? While we cannot say with certainty, we believe the hour to be nigh. We received a transmission from the moon suggesting as much not long ago. Which is why we must in earnest begin preparations for the great exodus. For his impressive contributions and the leadership he demonstrated during our withdrawal from Dravania, we have elected Master Leveilleur to oversee this initiative. Fellow scribes and scholars, my countrymen, 
we face a threat of unprecedented scale. We must challenge the trials before us with composure and conviction uh -huh. if we are to Gav? find salvation. What the wisdom fun. of Charlian has ever been a shining beacon in the darkness, and so it shall continue to be. It is our solemn charge to see our heritage preserved <laughs> okay, in for nuestra. future generations. For those who will come after, we will brave a new frontier. Van a ser seleccionados. O nosotros no vamos a Administrative edicts will be relayed to all major institutions ere long. In the meantime, carry on with your duties. With that, I hereby call this assembly to a close. Do you remember what mother told us when we visited home? That it wasn't until after we were born that father seemed to lose himself in his work. If that great work of his was the evacuation of this star, then... Yes. It wasn't right. for his benefit. Would you mind waiting here a moment? I wish to speak with father before we leave. I may look daggers at him, but I will neither speak nor draw them. If it's all the same to you, I have a few choice words to share with father as well. So, come to call us cowards and bid us join your fruitless battle against the inevitable. Nay, we do not object to the Forum's proposal. On the contrary, those who wish to flee have every right to do so. Orange is cooperating with your associates on the moon to ensure that all is ready should evacuation be our only recourse. Then whatever your business, I suggest you be brief. Though we cannot boast the boundless wisdom of Charlian, we have first-hand knowledge of foreign cultures and have conversed with no small number of peoples. These experiences have taught us fundamental truths that cannot be recorded in any tome nor charted on any map. The beating heart of this planet is its people, many of whom would give anything, even their lives, to protect the lands they love. Many may choose to join you in the end. But what of those unwilling or unable, for whom escape will never be an option? What would you have them do? To ignore the plight of those one might conceivably save is not wisdom, Father. It is indolence. This is why we choose to fight. We'll not ask for your understanding, Father. Only that you don't turn a blind eye to the good we have done, that we can still do. We're not children in need of protection. Hold fast to your principles and let the world burn if it please. But we believe there is still another way. And if there is, we will find it. You see if we don't. Do as you will. Just stay out of our way. Were he not so consumed with self-righteousness, he might tell you how proud he is of you both. Bold words call for bold action, and there'll be no turning to your father should plans go awry. As if I ever would. 
so long as there are those who wish to stay and fight for this star, we have to do what we can to help them. And if we're to do that, we'll need to be well rested. Wouldn't you agree? Having triumphed over what we once thought to be the source of all evil, I can think of no one in greater need of at least a dozen winks. <laughs> Shall we then? To the Annex. To prepare for tomorrow. Seguramente voy a escoger. Craving a midnight snack, were you? I did consider bringing a few sweets, but decided this wasn't an appropriate occasion. I couldn't sleep. Had a few things on my mind. I know it's late, so I'll try not to talk your ear off. It's Xenos. I keep thinking back to Garlemald when he'd taken control of your battle together. Terrifying experience, to say the least and one that served as a harsh reminder. No one, no matter how strong or quick or clever, is invincible. Not even you. And as much as it might seem at times that you are, one misstep, one mistake, and that's that. Which is why, even though I know you've heard it a thousand times before, I'm going to tell you to take better care of yourself. Because you really, really should. It goes without saying that we're all committed to this fight. But that doesn't mean that we need to throw our lives away. You know how I feel about noble sacrifice. Right, that's settled. We'll be keeping the acts of gratuitous bravado to a minimum. When I looked father in the eye and swore we'd find a way to avert this tragedy, it wasn't a promise just for him. 
It was a promise for you, too. Mm. No te Y debería, que se va a acabar el mundo. A la Megan Quarter. Es el Red Mitch. No es el de Roll Quest. Es la Dancer. Nuestra Dancer. Thank the gods that tower is gone. The sight of it was enough to make me sick. Thank the Ilse about contingent, more like. Word is. They fought their way into Garlemald and toppled the bloody thing themselves. Not just the one, neither. All the towers have up and vanished. Aye, I heard the same. Commander Aldin and his troops helped keep casualties to a minimum, too. But is it true they brought back tempered Garlean soldiers? As Commander Aldin tells you, they've a treatment for that now. But don't you worry. Cured or not, They've no plans to bring them into the city proper. I see. Well, that's a relief then. I know we've brothers and sisters among the lot, but I can't say I'm eager to welcome them home. Wanted to think about it for a while yet. But to be looked after in Alagana for the time being. I'm never kidding that ass. Todo esto. Westgard. Es el Sharkian. Jelly, Jolly. Another day, another mission of paramount importance. Esa mo no es, es nosotros, es este, el original. O se parece el cabello. Are you alright? Hacem, creo, no sé. Se parece. No, ¿qué pasa? Was that? No. The shadows play tricks. Nothing more. The towers are gone, and the Garlean threat is abated. And yet, why does it feel as though it's about to get much, much worse? Están pasando cosas en la misma cuarta de esto y... Yo creo que ya vamos a regresar. Está fea su ropa de Tata. O está más su abriguito. Oh, oh. Ya empezó. 
in the fine art days. Beasts did rise. Uh oh, vamos a ver las veces monstruos. Uh oh, necesito que se vaya a dar todo el cielo entonces. Pero lo que está pasó en el medio cuarto en el medio ya. Era el seguro no te hacemos. Y lo del tren. Situation, right, Sonsi? Last night, the isle was rocked by tremors, and the earth itself cried out. Aloft, the heavens began to burn. From all about, unholy beasts, the likes of which we had never seen, came forth in fury and rage. The people of Rajadhan themselves <laughs> transformed into these baleful things. Oh, oh. Though the phenomenon was observed throughout our lands, the first creature, the largest and most dreadful of the lot, brought havoc upon us here in our fair city. Though they bear superficial resemblance to divinities of legend, they are ungodly abominations. Blasphemies? The people decry them as blasphemies. The Large One's rampage has since taken it to the northern reaches of the island. I mean to dispatch our radiant host in an attempt to quell the threat. But what a free trip. Vitra too makes for the north of his own accord, and yet, he knows the blasphemy and its minions were but yesterday his beloved people. I pray his 
boundless compassion. Mercy does not deter him from taking unenviable but necessary Understood. I ask that you allow us to aid you in quelling this threat. You would risk your lives to help us yet again? I have no words to express my gratitude. Our regiments approach the north from several directions. With a number of units set to depart from the docks of Yedlin, they will make landfall in an area of dense jungle, where one can expect to encounter dangers even beyond the fell beasts we hunt. I leave you to your preparation. You will find me at the docks when you are ready to depart. We're as prepared as we'll ever be. Let's go. Ne bana kanından yanmaz hareket. Tres minutos, Dios. Podría ser algo más con la...
가 대단히 
Pero no sé. No se escucha bien el audio. Creo que el video está bien.
Jesus and Christ. Bueno, voy a terminar aquí porque la verdad no escucho nada. <risa> eh, voy a ver si puedo arreglar aquí algo. Esperemos que no pase acá. Vamos a ver. Que tenemos la próxima entrega. Nos vemos pronto. Hasta luego.